Hey, Huckster here. So let's let's look at what we've got here on this subject of uh, turning the other cheek, not trying to stop evil because it's a m command of Jesus. If this was the case, then none of you would be here watching this kind of video. I wouldn't be making this kind of video. We would have long ago, as Christians, been eliminated. And if if we if we became passive today, gave no resistance to violence, gave no resistance to evil, we would be wiped out. Or we would convert over to probably Islam or some other religion that would uh, eventually become the worldwide religion. It would all be over for Christians long, long ago. When Jesus was walking on the earth and he's, he's saying these things, To his listeners, who was his enemies that we that he was telling the people that they should love and turn their other cheek to? It was God's people, the holy people. It was Judah, those in the power in the temple in Jerusalem. Claudius, at one point, Claudius Caesar, and I believe that this is the one that uh, uh, held back in Revelations. He ordered that the Jews stop persecuting the Christians. Then he was taken out of power, and and uh, Nero came into power, and uh, some of the worst persecution toward the Christians ever. And Jesus told him that he would relieve his followers of this persecution. They were persecuted for three and a half years with by Nero, and then Jesus' presence. from 66 to 70 relieved his followers of that persecution and turned that persecution on those that were persecuting I don't believe Jesus ever gave a command that we should uh, not protect our families protect our way of life protect Christianity which is never ending. I think we would be going against God's will if we just gave up when faced with enemies and say, I love you, man. Chop, chop. Or As Christians, we couldn't lie and say, well, uh, I uh, convert over to your religion, being lying about it, then that's uh, uh, one of the no-nos in Christianity. You don't lie. So I, I just want somebody to explain to me how they expect to even exist today, have a family, have kids, have have a neighborhood, a peaceful neighborhood. If somebody comes through your neighborhood breaking in on little old ladies, you know, you can't do anything to them because you have to love your enemies. 
Well, let's throw them in prison. No, that's not showing love. Well, let's execute them. If they kill people, no, that's not showing love. Let's turn the other cheek and let them get somebody else. It's foolishness. I'm probably not making myself very clear, but my goodness. Just to lay down and let let God's temple be invaded by the enemy and say, this is what Jesus told me to do is ridiculous. Peace, love, justice, understanding, and music.